My name is Lisa Fuller and I wanted to introduce you to a resource we have in the library that will help you with your criminal justice class. We're going to start at the library website and that's library.harding.edu up here. You may have used Power Search before, but I'm going to encourage you to come down to the A to Z database list. This is how you can get to information that's more targeted towards your field of study. You can either choose a resource by um, this alphabetical list or you can sort it by subject. So I want to look at the criminal justice resources. And we do have one database that's specifically for criminal justice research. So let's look at that. You might be interested in a particular topic, maybe the legalization of marijuana. So let's search for that without setting any other limits. And our first list of results is always going to include a variety of types of sources and also will come from any date range that's available. I would recommend checking your assignment to see specifically what type of resource you're looking for. If it's scholarly journal articles, you'll want to use that limiter. It's always a good idea to see what date range. Maybe you have to find articles from the last 10 years or the last five years. If that's the case, you can come down here and either use the slider or enter a date range. Keep in mind that we are very new into 2020, and so you probably want to keep the 2010 through 2019 articles available too. Once you've met the criteria for the type of resource and the age of the resource, then start looking at some of these other limiters. The subject limiter can be helpful. You might be interested primarily in how this impacts drug use overall. You can open this up for more ways to limit this. We'll look at public health. If you see a lot of articles that are addressing issues in other countries and you need to limit your research to the United States, then check the location limiter to see where the focus of your information is coming from. Once you have a list of citations that are really on your topic and are the type of resource you need, look at the title and if it seems helpful, you can find more information on the second page. Um, the abstract is a one paragraph summary that's going to sum up the whole article for you, but don't take the shortcut of only reading the abstract. You want to find the full text, and if the full text is not available in our database, then let's go back and look at that real quick. There's a link here that you can request that item from another library. It'll take a couple of days to get here, but then it's yours to keep. For articles that are available in the database, you'll see several options. The first page will typically have the abstract again and scroll down and here's the text of the article or you can look at the next tab and find a PDF. I always like to use a PDF when I have that option. You can download it, you can print, you can get some citation helps, you can email it to yourself and this database does a good job of finding related articles over here for you too. Part of your assignment for this class is to make an appointment and visit with me so I can give you a little bit more information about your project. To find that, um, to find the scheduler, sorry about that, you're going to go back to the library website, come to research, schedule a consultation with a librarian, and use this icon to book an appointment with me. Any other time, you can also call me, you can email me. I'll be glad to help you with any project.